Sian, Wesh Kasian, Siaya, Chief Skulut, Stan Snart, Slevati, Chief Yokanan Snart, Slevati, and Squamish. So I, I said, Hello, how are you? I acknowledge the spirit of who we belong to, the oneness that we belong to, of TCM, and um, I acknowledge each and every one of your spirit. So I, I thank you for coming today, and I thank you for helping with this, our initiatives here. I think of policies, and I think of our countries, and I think of our governments, and I think of what it was based on and how it started and how we went in that direction to create something that would be safe, that could protect our land, that could protect us as individuals, that could protect our families, could protect our future generations. You know, some things came in the way, some things got in the way, and part of it was greed. And that's what, that's what, that's what I see in our communities today. And, and it started to create us to be blind. Blind to the things that matter, like our own children, our own future, our own lands and our own water. We became blind to that and I think, not, and, and, then, and then we started to hurt ourselves in this process. So I, I think of my grandfather and the message that he gave Chief Dan George about living a good life and what it is to be a human being. When he, when he, I was young when he was here, but he would talk about the fundamentals of humanity, of love, Honor, respect, dignity, pride, passion, compassion, understanding, truth, and wisdom. All these things that, that are the fundamentals of, of any religious belief or any spiritual belief. The fundamentals of humanity. He would implore those to be instilled in us, to be taught in us, to carry ourselves in a good way. What that led into is, is, is how our government was based on, was to protect us. But it seemed to protect the people that, you know, wanted things, and, and we're, we're going against those teachings of humanity, we're, we're, that we weren't looking out for, for one another. He would talk about how it was when we used to live in our longhouses, that when we were raised in the longhouse, we had our families right next to one another. Like how it would be today, my, my family would be with my brother's family, with, with my brother's family, and we'd live together. We'd know one, one another, we'd have a soulful connection with one another. And he, he would talk about how society is today. He said our longhouses would hold maybe 50 people. And now he said, you look at the skyscrapers and they could, they could hold thousands of people. And he said, there's only six inches that separate you from knowing the person next to you. So we lost that soulful connection that we have with one another. And one thing that I think about too is marriage. Around, around the whole world, there's, 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 there's cultures that acknowledge marriage, and that's acknowledging a spiritual connection that we could have with somebody, and that's love. That's love, but with that, we could also have that with one another. And now, we, now we're here and we're, we're creating something. We're looking at the new change in the policies that went against these teachings of humanity to try to change and try to make things better. To try to make things better for our own existence. To be connected. Like I said, when you love somebody, we could be connected like that. But also, we, we could be connected to the things that we're fighting for. The things that deserve that chance. That our, our children deserve to see what we saw. There's, there's little streams by my house. and there's, 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 It's only about this deep, but, but huge salmon, just hundreds of them, would swim up there when I, was, when I was a kid 30 years ago. And now it's non-existent. Our kids deserve that opportunity to see that and to be a part of that. And to know that, and like me and myself, how my grandfather taught me, I, I learned to have a soulful connection with that, with those things that I'm surrounded by, our land and our water. Our story of creation, what I, what I spoke about earlier, I mean, you know, um, it, it comes from the land. I said a man was, was, was transferred from a wolf into man, and that's the first Tislewitu person. And Tislewitu means people of the inlet, people of Burrard inlet. And he said the man was lonely and what he wanted was a wife or, or a companion. And so the man swam to the bottom of the ocean and he got some sediment. And he came back up and he put it on the ground and, and the creator turned that into woman. We are directly connected to the water and that's what I've been taught. I, I, all my life I had a boat and I was always on the water. I was connected to the water. I fished in the water. I played in the water. We swam in the water. Scuba dived in the water. Just a really beautiful connection. And you yourself know what it's like when we, when we have a shower and we have a bath. Maybe when you're stressed out and you have a drink of water or you're with the water. That's, that, that's growing 
that yearnful spiritual connection that we all have in each and every one of us. We all have a spirit, and these elements ignite that. The element of a water ignites that. And what I was taught too is to have a spiritual connection with that water. A spiritual connection with that water, because that's where I come from. That's where my ancestors come from. And, and um, I just wanted to share a little bit of this with you, because I, I believe that some people are gifted in spreading this message, like our brother Bill, who's gifted. And um, my grandfather did different things and, and honored different people for the position like what Bill has. He honored them because their voice was a gift. Uh, he said that when we believe in something of everything that who we are, mentally, emotionally, and physically, when we believe in it so much, our spirit goes to work and makes our goals and our dreams a reality, makes our path to our goal easier. And sometimes some people have a big spirit and they can connect it with a lot of people. And that's, that's what we see Bill doing, my brother here, connecting with a lot of people, bringing a voice to the people in the world that need a voice, that, that walk by that path, by those teachings of humanity and what I talked about, about love and honor and respect, and applying that to the lands that they live on. I, I loved it when he did that with my brother, when he connected the world and gave them a voice and said, Let, let's, let's, let's show people that what they're missing out on. Let's show people that they can also have a, a spiritual love and connection with the elements that live around them like they do with their own children and the people that they love. So that was, that was I, I, I want to honor you, brother, and I want I know you can come sit down again, but I want to honor you and call you up here. And um, I got a gift for you. I got, I got, I, I made this drum. Oh. And um, you know, what it, what it is, and in every culture, they, we have something similar, but it creates that vibration of that water, and that's, the, that's how we connect with it. And um, wherever you're at, I'd like us all together, one heart, one mind, add some more goodness to this and, and put a wall of love and protection around our brother for the work that he does and who he's connecting with and to be a voice for us all, the voice of humanity, the voice to change, the voice to make something better like Seth and all your great staff and the work that you're doing by connecting that and working in the laws and within, within what our government's based on, what is supposed to be those teachings of humanity, and thank you, uh, this, this organization, for bringing that back to our people. So I'll give them a hand also. Uh, one heart, one mind. I'll ask us to come together and, and um, honor our, our, our brother here. And, and I'm just going to sing one verse of my grandfather's song. His name was Stilotston. And I was uh, Chief Dan George, so I'm just going to sing one verse, and I'm going to give the drum to, uh, to uh, our brother here. And I'm going to ask you to put prayers into this drum, so wherever he is, wherever he is, you know, us here in Vancouver have sent him some love for him, and a big wall of love and protection. So. Mm -hmm. 